Well, welcome everybody to the Mailbox Power Monday Mastermind Call, where we all come together and lift each other up and help each other in business. This is not the Mike and Brenda show. Um, this is really for all of you, and we learn from all of you every single week. Um, we're going to keep wins to really short because today... We're actually going to do the Canva training that I promised, but I do want to give an opportunity if somebody has a big win, if it's not a big win, let's hold it till next week. But if you have a big win, I'd love to hear about it before we get started on the Canva training. No big wins, huh? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that mine's so big. It was just satisfying. That I haven't heard my, from your real estate agent, by the way. I texted her this morning. I told you she's very squirrely. Yeah. Yep. She says Mondays and Fridays are not good. I'm like, okay, let me yep. know what you got planned and we'll figure it out. I think not, she she texted me just to say hi or something like that, but that's been the extent of it. So anyway. That's par for the course. Yep. No worries. Um, and for yep. those of you who are clueless what Lulu and I are talking about, Mike and I do concierge done for you services and many of you don't want to do that. So if you have clients, we do not steal your clients. You just hand your client over to us. We get them using the system, get it all set up and it's a win-win for everybody because it means you have a client that's going to stay most likely because their system is set up and running. So if you're interested in any of those type of services, let us know, reach out to us and we can work with you um, to help your client. But with that, I am going to share, let me, let me move this screen over first and then I'm going to share my screen. Come on. All right. Can you all see my canvas screen? Yep. Awesome. So um, I'm going to scroll down here and you're going to see, I have some social media posts. Um, this one, let's see if there's, I got to move our faces. Let's see if, see, this says one of 14. What if I could teach you today in a few short minutes how to create a month or a few weeks worth of social media posts that are all different. Did Yay. you know that customer acquisition is like a great book? It takes a good character, a good story, characters, and a plot to make it interesting. Did you know that customer acquisition is like building a puzzle? It takes time and patience, but the results are worth it. So how we do this is I'm going to go back over to Canva and then I'm going to say create a design and I'm going to say a, oh, it's not there. I'm going to do face. I, I'm just doing it for Facebook right now because I know a lot of you are on Facebook. So I'm going to do Facebook post square because most of the Facebook posts are square. Um, Actually, no, let's do rectangular. You know, let me go back. Now that I think of that, I've been doing rectangular. So Facebook post landscape, and I'm going to do a bigger one. So this could be used up on your, um, up on the top. That's not the size I want. It's got to be this one. Okay, that's the one, 940 by 7 something. That's what it was. So this is the size I've been using. And all you do is you go up here. And let's say you want marketing, uh, marketing tips. And there are a whole bunch of templates you can see here. But did you know that you can go right here? Now, I am a pro user. And um, if you're not currently a pro user uh, and you'd like to be a pro user, uh, one of the things that I teach is the magic writing tool. So magicwritingtool.com, go become a pro um, with Canva. And then you can see all of these that have the pro. You can't use those unless you're a pro member. And it's so inexpensive. It's like 
I think less than $200 a year, right around $200 for a whole year. And if you could create social media posts for weeks or months on at a time, that in itself is worth $200 to me. So I don't know if all of the features I'm sharing with you today are available on the free model. So magicwritingtool.com and then sign up for the pro version of Canva and you should be able to do this. But I'm going to go here. And what if you had a brand color and let's just say you could plug your brand color in there, but let's say you wanted reds. You could say apply, and now everything it gave you was red. If you want mailbox power color, oh, look, I have mailbox power colors in here. So now it's all mailbox power colored theme. Oh, look, there's a mailbox power happy birthday. But you can come down here and find, like, let's say, hmm, let me find one. Here we go, client testimonial. Well, what if you had a whole bunch of testimonials that you wanted to load in here or um, I don't like that one because I don't have client testimonials to show you. But anyways, let's say you wanted to build um, client testimonials for marketing. You can also do that in Canva. If you come over here to doc, create a doc and then you use the magic writing tool and we say magic write. Um, Write 10 client testimonials about how direct mail marketing has impacted their business. And we say generate. So I asked it for 10. Let's see what it gives us. I mean, the, this magic writing tool is phenomenal. This is what I use. So here are 10. We were hesitant to try direct mail marketing, but after seeing a significant increase in our customer base and sales, we're now believers thanks to the team at XYZ Direct Mail um, for their expertise. And you could change it to Mailbox Power, but I recommend you change it to Heart. What's yours, Lulu? Heart, Heart heartfelt felt, expressions. Heartfelt expressions for their expertise. Drug mail marketing has helped us reach a wider audience and increase brand recognition. We've received positive feedback from customers who appreciate the personalized touch. So there are 10 right here. So if I take this and I copy, haha, watch this. Copy. No way. Copy. And now. I open up Excel. Let me find Mike's. I'm on Mike's computer, so I don't know where everything is. So let's open up Excel. Go down the right page and do a blank workbook. And... Hello, computer. Next. So now we have all of those in here. But what if you wanted to do, um, you wanted to give a name? So this is Brenda. This is Lulu. This is Marie. This is Chris. Uh, Chris. Uh, Andrea, Andrea, um, Sam, uh, Harry, Lisa, uh, what are some names? Uh, Susan, Susan, Bill, Bill. All right. <laughs> so now I have this and I'm going to say file, save as. And let me put it on my desktop so that I can find it easy. And this is 10 client testimonials so that it's named the same thing. 
So I close this and now I go back over to this design and we're going to delete this because we don't need it to say cult leader. We don't, we don't need a face because we don't have faces. And we can make this bigger. Whoops, maybe not that big. There we go. So we move this down and then down here, see it says really great site. But for me, I'd type either win with referrals ah, or life's real currency. Those are the two um, because our, our invite code is win with referrals in mailbox power. So I could use either. But watch this, I go over to apps and I scroll down to bulk create. And then I can either enter data manually so I can manually enter it all in or I could upload a CSV. Oh, I forgot to make that a CSV, hold on. Let me save it, I forgot about that. Desktop, let me open and then save it as a CSV. It's been a minute since I've done this because I did a whole bunch at once. So file, save as, and then right here, change it to a regular C, right here, comma delimited. This is the one you want. And hit save. All right. So now I can say upload a CSV. And I go to the desktop. Wow. 10 client testimonials. And we were hesitant to try. Okay, where's my hello? Connect. Where's my button? Oh, over here. Connect. Where is it? Connect data. Yeah. Woo. -hoo. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, no, back, back, back. This is the one where I want to connect the data and I want it to be this. And this, I want to connect the data to be this. And now you can see this is going to be too big again. So let's, let's move everything up. Whoops. And you see all those squigglies? We don't want them in there. So all we do is we take them out and all the rest of them, when I say generate, will not have all those extra characters. All right. And it's given you ideas of how to change it. But anyways, I'm just trying to show you an example. So now you have all of that. Now watch, continue. See all of these, select all, generate nine pages. And voila. That's you amazing. Have, you have nine plus your original is here. It doesn't put your original with them. So what do I do? I say select all or copy. And then I go over here and I duplicate. And then actually I wanna to go to the top one cause I want Brenda to be the first one. And I hit control V, oops, it left the group it so that I can move it. Come on. Anyways, it's been a while since I've done this but I just add you know, I add this in, it didn't do what I wanted it to do. So I think, let me come back over here. Try this again, copy. Nope. 
I know I did this before. I might have imported from a file, but anyways, you can see that I just need to bring control C. There we go. Now I've got it. So you can take that other one or just leave it in two different files, but see how easy that is? Wow. And and then if you're in here and you change and you change it to yellow, notice you can say change all. Oh, I thought it changed it on all pages. I don't want to do that. It should have changed the blue on all of them. But anyways, there are so many cool things that you can do with Canva, but use magicwritingtool.com. Magicwritingtool.com. You come over here. Give me another thing that you want to... Somebody shout out a good... Well, how, how about um, tips for uh, ways to use direct mail? Or, right. You know, idea, or yeah. using... I, haha, watch this. Right? How many? 30? Okay. 30 tips on... Benefits um, of direct mail or how to use direct mail or what to, to say in direct use mail. Use mailboxpower.com for your business. There you go. You can, you can put the website in. There, write 30 tips on how to use mailbox power for your business. And sometimes it takes a second, but it's going to mailboxpower.com and it searched the website. Mailboxpower.com is a powerful tool that can help you grow your business in a multitude of ways. Here are 30 tips on how to use mailboxpower.com to take your business to the next level. To send personalized wow. high quality postcards, send thank you cards, to send holiday cards, birthday cards, follow up cards, anniversary cards, promotional postcards. If you have a website, I know Marie has a website. Go out to you, tell it to to give you thirty social media posts based on your website, and go build it on your brand colors. Wow. And then just again, well, we don't want the top. You would start with a post like the top one. You would start with that to kind of peak interest and say, watch for the next 30 days or watch over the next 10 weeks and you do three posts a day because 30 would give you three posts a day for 10 weeks. That's two and a half months of social media posts. And then just copy this and again, go over to Excel wait for it to come up blank worksheet, and you don't have to put more than one thing. It can just be this. And then obviously you wanted, you would want to take off the numbers or maybe not, um, but then just file, save as a CSV and make sure I'm doing this on my desktop so that I can find it. And this was 30 mailbox power tips. And I close this. And now I'm gonna go over to the homepage on Canva. And again, I'm gonna create a design and I'm gonna do this Facebook post landscape. And then I'm gonna say marketing tips. And I'm just going to scroll down through. See, there's a yellow uh, social media post. See, now they're, they're actual social media posts. So here, here's a great one. How to increase your business through social media. Um, read more. You could set it up that this. You could click to read more down below, or put put your website. Read more. Learn more. Put your website there. But here again, 
go to apps, scroll down to bulk create, upload a CSV. Uh, 30 mailbox power tips open. Connect data. Again, you want to take off. And I think if you take off the one, it gets rid of the number on all of them, if I remember correctly, because it's been a minute since I've done this again. But again, you could make this bigger. You could put your logo over here. So if you want to put mailbox power, I don't. That's just me. I don't put, I don't advertise Mailbox Power because then somebody can just go search Mailbox Power and I'm going to move her over because I need more room. And I'll change this to learn more. And then make that white box bigger. Move the text. So much, it works so much like mailbox power. Yep. So again, you just take, learn more. Let me change this, whoops. I mean, Canva will prompt you for everything else. But I mean, again, this could be www.michael and brenda.com. Because we also have our own website. So now they want to learn more. And I would move this over again. But you're only creating one. Here's the key. Yes, it might take you a few minutes to create this first one, but once it's done, if I want to change that to blue or whatever, it doesn't matter, watch. All I do is hit continue and generate. And now it opened it up and I now have 29 posts. Wow. 30 with the first one. And yes, you might have to tweak this because this has got more text, you know, and you might have to say short, you know. Yeah. 15 words or less or 10 words or less so that it's a social media post. But all I got to say is when I learned that, it was wow. Now, if you are not a techie person, do not get overwhelmed by this. Let me say that again. If you are not a techie person, do not get overwhelmed by this. Guess what? Reach out to Mike and I. Remember I said we have a concierge and done for you service? <laughs> Reach out to us. We'd be glad to help. Obviously, there will be a cost for that. But don't get overwhelmed. And if you need stuff like this, this is how you could go create social media posts for yourself to have months and months and months of social media posts. And imagine if you could show up, even if it was once a week, if you're not doing anything on social media right now about Mailbox Power, if you are, um, it, if you'd have to be an undercover detective to find out that you're a Mailbox Power rep or that you do direct mail, then you probably ought to be posting more. <laughs> but do it to peak interest, not all over all over the place that it's mailbox power and sign up and buy me, you know, educational. The more you are educational and I can help businesses to increase uh, their lifetime value of their customer or their referrals, or I can increase your conversion rate on your prospects to become clients. So instead of maybe a 20% close, what if you could move it to even 25 or 30% close rate? If you're at 10% close rate, what if I can get you to 15 or 20% close rate? What would that do for your business? 
Did that help? Yes. Absolutely. That was awesome. So it's been a while. So that one was a little rusty um, since I've done it, the complete process, but you can go back and watch the recording. We'll post that later today. Um, as I said, we have our grandkids today, so it won't be right immediately, but watch for it later today. And, um, and then next Monday, um, is there anybody who will volunteer, uh, Marie, Lulu, maybe, um, to be on the call and host the call just in case I can't be on? We'll be in California with our grandkids on vacation, and I think we'll be able to do the call, but I really don't know what's planned for Monday yet. So I'd like a backup. Anybody willing to be a backup? Lulu? I, I yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Lulu. I hate to sure. put you on the spot, but I was just thinking of it as we're about to wrap up the call. I'm like, oh, shoot, we're in California next week. That's so fine. I appreciate it. Hopefully we will be there. But if not, you will be in amazing hands. As you know, Lulu um, hosted a call for us a month or so ago, and it was phenomenal. So um, I I. I'll be sad to miss it. If we have to miss it, I'll be looking for the recording. <laughs> so Brenda, uh, a question for you on what you just taught us. Sure. That magic writer, is that yep. within Canva or do we have to go outside? So um, let me show to that you. And bring it in. Um, hold on. Share screen. So if you go to a web page and put magic, whoops. Magic, if you don't have Canva Pro, magicwritingtool.com tells you all about, if I'm remembering it correctly, I'm already logged in, but it will take you, try Magic Write. It tells you all about Magic Write. You can sign up, you can use it for free. You get, you get 75 total, I believe it is, of those type of prompts. And then you need to be a pro. So if you go to here, you can learn about the magic writing tool. Um, if you already have Canva and um, then you can just go to here to doc and then right here to the plus and then magic write. Okay, so it but, is within Canva also. Yep, it is. It, okay. If you have Canva, if you don't have the pro, again, you're going to be very limited in what you can use here. Um, and I don't know that you're going to be able to do the bulk create unless you're a pro. Okay. So magicwritingtool.com, I, I will be honest, it's our affiliate link. Uh, we make a couple dollars if you sign up through that link, but you're going to get all the tools you need to do what I just taught you. And um and then you help us out with a couple bucks. I mean, okay. I don't know what it is. It's not very much, but um, it's a it's a way to support us doing these calls. Awesome. Any I other? I had known that. <laughs> any other quick um, comments or ahas before I wrap up the call? All good. Uh, Thank you for doing right. that. It's I'm going to play around um, with that. I'm, yeah. I'm excited to see everybody's stuff. You'll have to tag me so that I, or share it with me in Messenger or something. On um, this call referred to special instructions for chat GPT that it would consider. Can someone point me to where that was? Alan, um, if you email us, is he still on? Did you email us? You should have gotten... I thought you emailed us and Mike emailed everybody that emailed us the prompts. Yep, I got it and I actually forgot about that. So I need to go yep. in there and look at it and thank him for doing that. I, I did, Brenda, but didn't see any reference to things that it would consider, like that you're a Mailbox Power affiliate or... No, that's that was not what we were doing last week. Oh. So again, you're going to have to go out and you're going to have to get creative and you're going to have to learn, but that was um, good prompts. You want to be very specific. So remember when Lulu said that she wanted 
tips, I was like, well, on direct mail, well, let's be more specific. Let's say we want it on mailboxpower.com and how it works for your business. If you just say direct mail, you're going to get very generic, all the different platforms out there. You're not going to get specific to mailbox power. So that's what those prompts were is teaching you how to get the best responses out of chat GPT or Canva or any magic writing tool, any Got of it. those AIs, you need yeah. to be super specific. The more specific you can be and the more detailed, the better the results you're going to get. So it, it okay. really takes some practice yep. in using the tools. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Well, have a great week, everyone. And I look forward to seeing your creativity if you decide to go try Canva out. So have a great week. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye Thank Bye. you so much, Brenda. You're welcome. Bye.